Welcome to my kitchen. Cranberry sauce is the one thing my husband can't live without. <laughs> it's something his mom made, of course. And so I have used her recipe plus a little twist with a few little added variations that you are going to love. This is super easy to make. It's just three cups of cranberries. And you know how you keep the cranberries in the big bags? They freeze really well too. But it's always nice to make double and then have enough left over for any of your sandwiches, um, like, like any little snack to make anything more festive. A cup of sugar, and you can play with the sugar if you want. You could add a little more or a little less. This is just what my family likes, a cup. And then one orange, and when I first started making this, the peel was too harsh for me. I did not like it. And then as I got older, I liked the bitterness of the orange peel, so you kind of just decide what you want. I'm going to put in three small oranges and with some of the peel taken off, but you could use like a big orange too. Okay, so this is just so fast and so easy. Um, the only thing you want to make sure is that the orange peel gets small enough. Okay, that is still a little bit big. I, that would be kind of hard to eat with the orange peel. So we're going to let it go a little bit longer and then I'll show you the variation on it. Okay, this looks good. Look at that. So much fun. Okay, so and then we're going to do a couple variations. Let me take this blade out. And just uh, any kind of food processor you could use. Actually, you could use your blender too. This works really great. So I'm going to do a third plain, and then I'm going to do a third with cocoa powder in it, and a third with pumpkin pie spice. And just use your favorite pumpkin pie spice. What I did was I just got the recipe of my favorite pumpkin pie. And I just used those spices and then just mixed up a bunch. Okay, so this is super easy. Two teaspoons of cocoa. Just mix it all in. And then you're going to have, this is so good. And it's just a hint of cocoa. It's not really overpowering. And it's really good with um, turkey and sandwiches and crackers with cream cheese. Super yummy and delicious. Okay, this is taking way too long to mix up, but I have this over here that I already mixed up. It's so good. So all. We'll try that. And then um, this is a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And you're going to love this. This is such a delightful blend of spices with the orange and the cranberry. Oh, really super delicious. Okay, I like to just eat this with a spoon. So I'm going to take some of this. Mm. Okay, this is a spice. Mm. Okay, that's really, really delicious. This is a plain, and this is so traditional and just perfect. My side of the family that grew up with the canned, they even want me to bring this now. Mm. Yep, just like Thanksgiving. Okay. Now for the chocolate one. I'll mix it up. Nope. I'm just going to take this one over here that's already mixed up. Okay. Mmm. That's rich and delicious. Okay, these are going to be your family favorites now. Thank you so much for joining me.